Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I am here to do the Zodiac Sign of Aquarius for today, July 20th, 2020. We are doing the past, present, and future reading. So you can ask a question and or you have, may even think of a scenario and this is what it's going to refer to. Please know that the future outcome could change based on your thoughts and actions. I want to take this chance to thank everybody for being a watcher, viewer, subscriber, or just somebody who comments really cool stuff to me. I appreciate every single one of you newbies and all of my returning subbies. I appreciate you all. And I am available still for readings, tarot card readings, and life coaching sessions. Please read the description box below. If it's not there, look at one of my prior videos because I'm actually kind of going back to back right now. So I have not posted the description box yet, but hopefully I will before the end of tonight. Okay. So I'm doing the past, present, and future reading. And oh, before I forget, please like, share, and subscribe and comment if you're inclined. I appreciate that very much. So anyways, I'm doing the past, present, and future reading. This is my Oceanic Tarot deck. This is my baby. You guys know this is very dear to me. It's, this deck is so close to me. I'm very dear to it. I do readings for my clients with this deck and various others, but this is my baby, okay? And basically, this is a reading that's called Three Pearls and an Oyster. And it's really here so that you guys can get clarity about a situation or a circumstance that you're going through. And just know that you can change the outcome with your actions, the future, it's not permanent, it doesn't have to be. But for a lot of you, this is giving you some insight of what it most likely will be, okay? So take it how it resonates for you. Don't get hung up on signs. You guys know I don't really call it too much. This is for the sign of Aquarius. So um, to all my lovely Aquariuses, this is for you. And it should be quick. These readings are pretty quick. So let's start. Messages for the sign of Aquarius. Let's do the past, present, and future for today, July 20th, 2020. A lot of twos. Okay, so we have past present and future and it's so funny because i usually have like a theme when i do the star of the sea or the weekly or and i usually use the bottom of the deck i'm so i'm itchy to just show you guys the bottom but it's not that type of reading so this is interesting here so if you have a question or a thought or a scenario situation in your mind now is the time to focus on it and think of it and i'm going to read it as is so let's begin so past for the sun of Aquarius. oh you guys got the sun present you guys have the five of wands and this just came out for the sign I just did for Libra. So you may want to go back and watch Libra and it's in the same position. So you guys got the past is the sun, present, five of wands. Hope I'm trying not to get a glare here. And then the future outcome of your situation is the five of pentacles. So interesting. Let's see. I'm trying to not have a glare, but I'll see it. Okay. How do I get rid of it? Let me see. Hold it back this, like right there. Okay, so I got my sweet spot. Okay, so let's read this. Okay, so in the past, something made you really happy. It was very, I feel like a smooth ride for you, Aquarius. Something was really cool. You enjoyed family time together. Something or someone brought out the child in you or there was children around you, could be both. I see... Something made you feel really good inside, okay? It gave you a lot of harmony and peace at home and stability, okay? But at present, you have like a lot of competition around you. So a lot of people are competing for your job or you may be in competition romantically. So you may feel like your person has too many options or you have too many and you're being pulled in too many different directions is what I'm seeing. So it's time I'm here to make a choice because I don't really feel like you need to be in any type of competition. You need to say how you feel and say what you need and what you mean and mean what you say and be very clear. And I, I just said this for the sign of Libra Aquarius, say what you mean to the point. So if you need to write it out and think it out, do that, but get to it. Okay. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to say what you mean and, and get what you need. Not just that, but when you speak clearly and you speak your truth, people are able to understand where you're coming from. You'll see if they can actually meet your expectations and your needs or if they're going to try. But you have to put it out there what you're looking for and what you want, okay? 
that has to be clear and to the point, and I'm going to say this again, I just said this, interesting, and I shuffled these cards and I prayed upon it and it came out in the same position, but you are an air sign, just like a Libra. So Aquarius, please know that nobody should be in a competition. Even if you are competing with somebody to be president of a company and there's other candidates or you're competing to have a higher position and get a promotion, all you really are in is competition with yourself. You're out to be the best person that you can be so you can achieve the opportunities that are for you. What's for you will be for you. All you can do is your best and keep accelerating, okay? Communicate very professionally and wisely and straight to the point. Don't give any information that's not necessary. But remember, your words and your written words can come back to you. Like somebody may even be recording. I don't know. But somebody's definitely observing. So stick to your morals and your values. Take the high moral ground and stay professional as possible and clear. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Your outcome of the situation is the five of pentacles. So a lot of you will get support that you don't think you have. There is support around you, but here's the thing. It's going to come from somebody you least expected. So some of you will feel abandoned by some people and some people are going to abandon you is what I'm saying. Some people have walked away, but guess what? When God closes a door or when a door closes, God is right there to open up a window mm -hmm. or the next door, a better door with better options. So you do have support. You might be looking in the wrong places so, and, or, and or the wrong people. Okay, so you need to go beyond what your usual network is and switch it up because you will find the help that you need. God is going to open that door for help and support. You know, sometimes people appear to be sad, but I feel like you're going to get back to your happy place. Okay, but you will feel some sort of abandonment. Somebody you thought you could trust, you can't, and you will find that out. Okay, so don't fear isolation. Don't fear, you know, poverty. Just know if you feel like you're at risk of losing a job or an opportunity, you're going to get more. So you need to start putting in more applications. You need to start asking higher ups for other opportunities. Sometimes you have to create your own lane and come up with your own job title and create your own space. You know what you're capable of. So do not doubt yourself, Aquarius, and get out of that feeling of feeling alone because what happens is you will isolate yourself. And right now you don't need to do that. And some of you may feel a financial hardship or change after like a breakup. And I'm sorry that you're going through that. That is a significant hit. When you lose those two paychecks in the home, look for other opportunities that are out there. There's all types of rental assistance right now and just free food at certain places that people are helping and um, adding their services to. And, you know, there are so many opportunities. You just have to look and just be open and ask. And, you know, I, I feel like, Keep praying because I know God answers prayers and there is hope. All is not lost. Okay? Don't doubt your abilities. Don't doubt yourself. And just know that support is coming. You will find it. Okay? Believe it and know it. Okay, Aquarius, this has been your reading. I hope it's helpful to you all. And stay blessed and just know you can also change that outcome with your own actions and your own thoughts. I wish you all blessings, prayers, and abundance, peace, love, and joy. Make sure that you all stay safe, and I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And I'm welcome to any feedback, and I hope that you all have a blessed night. My candle was out of sight, but it's burning, and it's here. It's burning low, though. But anyways, it's here. So, have a good night. Bye, Aquarius.